I recognize Mr. Kana from California for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair Chairman. Ms. Ween, uh, what drug does uh, Imbruvica, what, what does it treat? Congressman, um, I recognize Imbruvica is one of the products that we uh, do market. I'm not exactly sure. It's okay. It I'm, I'm not trying to trick you. It, it treats leukemia. Uh, do you know uh, what the price that Johnson & Johnson has set for it? I do not have that on it's, my fingertips. Uh, it's $484 per capsule per tablet, which works out to about $14,000 per month, which works out to about $16,000, $160,000 per year for leukemia patients. Now, do you know, or I can tell you, how much money, gross revenue, the Johnson & Johnson has made from this drug over the last 10 years? Congressman, it's not something that I'm an expert at, not something sure. I'm here to uh, testify to today. $22 billion. Do you know the gross profits of Johnson & Johnson in 2023? I couldn't tell you that. $65 billion. So just to recap, you've got a pill for leukemia patients. You sell it at 484 per capsule. That's $160,000 a year. You've made $22 billion over that over the last 10 years, and you're making a $65 billion in profit. Now, we have passed as a Congress, and the President has signed a bill saying, you know what, let Medicare negotiate to try to bring that price down. And you, uh, and your department, because you're Assistant General Counsel, have filed a lawsuit saying that that negotiation would be an unjust taking. Uh, let me ask you this, do you believe when the Veterans Administration negotiates for drug prices with you that that is a violation of the takings clause? Congressman, I appreciate the question. The bases for our litigation uh, against HHS with respect to the Inflation Reduction Act are fully disclosed in our complaint. I'm not an expert in this area. You're, you're here, you're the Assistant General Counsel for a company that is accusing the United States government of taking your property because we're negotiating. And you can't answer a simple question about, I'm, I'm just a yes or a no. Does the Veterans Affairs negotiation with Johnson & Johnson constitute a taking? Congressman, we believe that the IRA can strengthen no, no, I don't, innovation. I don't, I'm not asking about the IRA. I'm asking you about, do you believe the Veterans Affairs, when they negotiate, does that constitute a taking? Congressman, again, that is not a litigation that I have great familiarity okay, with. Okay, so I'll just say you don't want to answer that question. Do you believe when Medicaid negotiates and gets a rebate for anything over the price of inflation, do you believe that that constitutes a taking? Congressman, again, it's not an area that I specialize in. I just, I guess I don't understand how being the Assistant General Counsel you can come before the United States Congress when you're suing the United States government saying that we are taking your property. Well, that's, a, that's a very serious charge. Taking means like if I came into the government with the force, took your property, and you don't know whether it's a taking, whether the, when the Veterans Administration negotiates, you don't know whether it's a taking, whether Medicaid negotiates. I assume you would say it's not a taking. Because obviously it's not a taking. These, these administrations have been negotiating for years, and yet you're arguing that Medicare should, when they negotiate, it's a taking? Medicaid, do you know how many percent of the American population is on Medicare? Congressman, no. It's 18% it's about. Do you know how many are on Medicaid? Congressman, no. About 18%. So it's not like Medicare has a bigger market. Medicaid negotiates with 18%. Do you know about how much is on, in, uh, how many of our, people are veterans, it's about 6%. So you have already a larger population, when you combine Medicaid and Veterans Affairs, negotiating with your company so that you don't make $65 billion in profits every year, and so leukemia patients don't pay $160,000. You have filed a lawsuit. I think it is shameful what you and the pharmaceutical companies have done in suing the United States government to protect those profits, and you are totally unprepared to answer a single question about what takings, the takings clause is and a justification for that lawsuit. I mean, I, I really believe hopefully someone in the company and these other pharmaceutical companies can provide the American people with an explanation why you consider Medicare negotiating those drugs to lower those profits, those obscene profits, a taking when you don't consider that for the Veterans Affairs or Administration or Medicaid. Mr. Chairman, uh, I hope someone for, will answer my questions on that, and I yield back my time. Chair, I recognize this. Mr. Armstrong from North Dakota for five minutes. 